Well, hello again. Welcome to our reading of the Ocritus, and we're reading Idyll 11, and we were up to line 50. Lines 50 um, and following, at this, at this stage, Polyphemus realises that he has to give more than just material goods and pleasures, and so he offers his soul, but then rather spoils the offer by saying, and his one eye. He still assumes that ultimately Galatea will renounce her real self and desert her marine habitat in order to live with him. He even laments that he, he cannot go into her world to bring her from it. Each is tied by their own existence to their natural habitats. So starting here at line 50, uh, we have a de toi autos egon docio lasioteros amen. Enti druos xul amoi kai hupos podoi akamaton pur. So a for epsilon iota. So um, if uh, I myself, and it's quite emphatic, um, even if I seem, for docio here, to you, probably toy for soy here. So, and if I seem to you to be uh, very hairy, lasiotaros, literally more hairy, so probably just uh, very hairy here. Enti druos xula moi, enti for um, the, from the verb to be, um, and it's enti for ac, we've got neuter plural but a plural verb, that does happen in later Greek, so uh, xula druos, this is the wood of the tree, uh, so it's referring to firewood here, or perhaps logs or something. So um, there are uh, logs of wood for me, and poor the fire is a kamaton, undying beneath the ash. So perhaps an, and beneath the ash there is undying fire. Now, of course, the reader at this point is meant to bristle a bit because this is obviously a reference, a hidden reference here to Odysseus coming and blinding Polyphemus at later times. And Theocritus puts these little markers in throughout the poem to, to uh, remind us about the connection between Polyphemus and Odysseus. Kaiominos de hupoteos kai tan psukan en koiman, kai ton henophthalmon to moi glukeroteron uden. And he says, being burnt by you, uh, I would offer up my soul. The kai almost goes with the bit at the beginning here, so I would offer up my soul, uh, which is also being burnt by you, which is a kind of romantic uh, offer, but then it's totally spoilt on the next line by I would also offer up my one eye. To is for two, it's the genitive of comparison here, understand the verb to be. There is nothing more sweet, there is nothing sweeter to me, to than this, than my one eye. Well again, of course, this is the one eye that he's going to lose at the hands of Odysseus. Omoi, hotuk eteken me hamate brachia ekonta. Os cat edun potitin kai tan kerateos e filesa e me tostomoles eferon de toi e crina luca e macon apalan eruthra patagoni ecoisa. So, um, alas. Now we get a very funny elision here. Normally when you see hot with elided, it's hot te, almost always. And there are very rare exceptions, and this is probably one of them. This is hot for hot tea. So alas, um, because my, the, my mother understood, uh, so my mother 
did not bear me, did not give birth to me, Tecto, this is from Ticto, uh, Econta Branchia, having gills, uh, hosts, so that Catedun from Catedono, I might dive down, Potty for Pros and Tin for Set, I might dive down to you, uh, and uh, I will, I will, this is a past tense, I was, I kissed your hand. So it's a kind of uh, nomic statement um, here, really. So um, both of these are in the past tense. So it's sort of otherwise I would have dived down to you and kissed your hand, which is why they're in the past tense here. Uh, and if, now again, this is um, uh, very um romantic offer i'm going to dive down and I'll, i would i would have kissed your hand and then it's spoiled by uh the following little line here but if you did not want or desire my mouth this is from lao it's a poetic word for to want or wish uh efferon um so this is all in the past tense so he says if, if i had gills i would have done all this and if you didn't want my mouth i would have brought to you either Crina Luca, the Crina often translated as lilies, but I think the actual um, plant identification is not secure. So uh, I would have brought to you either white lilies or um, uh, soft uh, or gentle Macones poppy, so or a soft poppy um, which has, so just with, it's uh, red or scarlet, um, uh, the, Patagonion is the word for petal, so petals. Again, a romantic little line here, I would have given you white lilies and I would have given you a soft poppy with this lovely red petals, and then of course on the next line he totally messes it up in some sense uh, because he tries to be overly naively pedantic and says ala tapmen therios tadeginitai en kemoni hosti u katoi tauta ferein hamapant edunathain so but some of them I give you in summer and the others um, uh, grow or exist or uh, uh, only in winter uh, so that uh, I would not be able to give to you all of these things at the same time so he offers these plants and then says oh but I can't give you both of them at the same time some of them only grow in summer some of them are only in winter so we, we have a sort of naive pedantry here uh, nun man ochorion, nun autica nein de Mathiumai, e caitis sunei pleon xenos hodi afficetai, hosi do te poch hedu, catoi ken ton buthon humin. But now, indeed, man for main, o oh girl, now um, I am learning. I'm just, I'm immediately learning, so actually, th this is actually a future, so I will learn, um, uh, get at least now to swim. Aketis uh, sun, now again we get this line which makes the reader bristle because he says, if some stranger sailing with a ship might come here, well of course one does and that's Odysseus, so if one of the, if such a stranger came so that I might see so he wants the stranger to teach him how to swim uh, so that I might know or see or perhaps know here better so so that I might know um, what pl ever pleasure it is whom in for you to dwell in the depths so that I can swim and discover why on earth you want to stay in this watery life of yours. Ex enthois galatea kai ex 
enthoissa lathoio. Hospe ego nun hodi kathemenos oikadia penthen. These are optatives of wish here, um, or almost commands. Would that you might come out, O Galatea. And having come out, lathoio, uh, may you forget. May you have forgetfulness, just as I now, sitting here, understand, have forgotten apenthane for apelthane to go back home again. Poimainen de thelois nun emin hama kai gala amelgen kai turon paksai tamison remean in esa. Um, so he's saying that if you did all this, if you came out and, and you had forgetfulness, you would want to shepherd the sheep along with me to get, and at the same time, also to milk the milk, so to to milk. And pagsai from pagnumi, so to set the cheese. Um, en asa from en hiemi. So placing in, um, this is um, pungent or acidic. Drimos means grim, but here in this context I think it's more like pungent or acidic. Uh, tamison is rennet. It's the stuff you add to milk to make it thicken into cheese. And that is the next section of Idle 11.